Dear maid, please do not leave any more of those little bars of soap in my bathroom since I have brought my own bath-sized dial. Please remove the, the six unopened little bars from the shelf under the medicine chest and another three in the shower soap dish. They are in my way. Thank you. S. Berman. Dear room 635, I am not your regular maid. She will be back tomorrow, Thursday, from her day off. I took the three hotel soaps out of the shower soap dish as you requested. The six bars on your shelf I took out of your way and put on top of your Kleenex dispenser in case you should change your mind. This leaves only the three bars I left today, which are my standing instructions from the management. I hope this is satisfactory. Kathy, relief maid. Dear maid, I hope you are my regular maid. Apparently, Kathy did not tell you about my note to her concerning the little bars of soap. When I got back to my room this evening, I found you had added three little camés to the shelf under my medicine cabinet. I am going to be here in the hotel for two weeks and have brought my own bath size dial so I won't need those six little camés which are on the shelf. They are in my way when shaving, brushing teeth, etc. Please remove them. S. Berman Dear Mr. Berman, my day off was last Wednesday, so the relief maid left three hotel soaps which we are instructed by the management. I took the six soaps which were in your way on the shelf and put them in the soap dish where your dial was. I put the dial in the medicine cabinet for your convenience. I did not remove the three complimentary soaps which are always placed inside the medicine cabinet for all new check-ins, and which you did not object to when you checked in last Monday. Please let me know if I can be of further assistance. Your regular maid, Dottie. Dear Mr. Berman, the assistant manager, Mr. Kenseda, informed me this a.m. that you called him last evening and said you were unhappy with your maid service. I have assigned a new girl to your room. I hope you will accept my apologies for any past inconvenience. If you have any future complaints, please contact me so I can give it my personal attention. Call extension 11Z8 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thank you. Elaine Carmen, housekeeper. Dear Miss Carmen, it is impossible to contact you by phone since I leave the hotel for business at 7.45 a.m. and don't get back before 5.30 p.m. That's the reason I called Mr. Kenzeder last night. You were already off duty. I only asked Mr. Kenzeder if he could do anything about those little bars of soap. The new maid you assigned me must have thought I was a new check-in today since she left another three bars of hotel soap in my medicine cabinet, along with her regular delivery of three bars on the bathroom shelf. In just five days here, I have accumulated 24 little bars of soap. Why are you doing this to me? S. Berman. Dear Mr. Berman, your maid, Kathy, has been instructed to stop delivering soap to your room and remove the extra soaps. If I can be of further assistance, please call extension 11Z8 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thank you. Elaine Carmen, housekeeper. Dear Mr. Ken Setter, my bath size dial is missing. Every bar of soap was taken from my room, including my own bath size dial. I came in last night and had to call the bellhop to bring me four little cashmere bouquets. S. Berman. Dear Mr. Berman, I have informed our housekeeper, Elaine Carmen, of your soap problem. I cannot understand why. There was no soap in your room since our maids are instructed to leave three bars of soap each time they service a room. The situation will be rectified immediately. Please accept my apologies for the inconvenience. Martin L. Kensetta, assistant manager. Dear Mrs. Carmen, who the hell left 54 little bars of Kame in my room? I came in last night and found 54 little bars of soap. I don't want 54 little bars of Kame. I want my one damn bar of bath size dial. Do you realize I have 54 bars of soap in here? All I want is my bath size dial. Please give me back my bath size dial. S. Berman. Dear Mr. Berman, you complained of too much soap in your room, so I had them removed. Then you complained to Mr. Kenseda that all your soap was missing, so I personally returned them. The 24 camés which had been taken and the three camé you are supposed to receive daily. I don't know anything about the four cashmere bouquets. Obviously, your maid, Kathy, did not know I had returned your soaps, so she also brought 24 camés plus the three daily camés. I don't know where you got the idea this hotel issues bath-size dial. 
I was able to locate some bath size ivory, which I left in your room. Elaine Carmen, housekeeper. Dear Mrs. Carmen, just a short note to bring you up to date on my latest soap inventory. As of today, I possess, on shelf, under medicine cabinet, 18 camay in four stacks of four and one stack of two. On Kleenex dispenser, 11 camay in two stacks of four and one stack of three. On bedroom dresser, seven cashmere bouquet in one stack of three and one stack of four, one hotel bath size ivory, and eight camay in two stacks of four. Inside medicine cabinet, 14 camay in three stacks of four and one stack of two. In shower soap dish, six camay, very moist. On northeast corner of tub, one cashmere bouquet, slightly used. On northwest corner of tub, six camays in two stacks of three. Please ask Kathy when she services my room to make sure the stacks are neatly piled and dusted. Also, please advise her that stacks of more than four have a tendency to tip. May I suggest that my bedroom window sill, which is not in use, will make an excellent spot for future soap deliveries. One more item, I have purchased another bar of bath size dial, which I am keeping in the hotel vault in order to avoid further misunderstandings. S. Berman